Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. As we head towards kickoff, two quarterbacks will be on the field today trying to push their team to victory. It's Ryan's Falcons going up against Mallet's Texans. Now let's go to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this week four matchup. The Texans are back deep, ready to return the kickoff. Matt Bosher ready to kick it away to start the game. Mallets back in shotgun formation. It's caught by Garrett Graham. The Texans come to the line. Of course, plenty of pink on the field today and in the stands as all of October will be seeing this for Breast Cancer Awareness Month in the NFL. Oscar tackled down. Safeties are becoming a bigger part of the NFL every year. That time, the safety comes up and gets in there and makes the tackle for no gain. Third and eight. Easy catch there. No one near him. Let's see how they back up the big play here. And the quarterback gives it to Arian Foster. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. The defense stands up early and stops the run cold. Good job that time. You said it, Jim, by the defense. They attacked the offensive line, and there was nowhere for the running back to run the football. Second down and six. The catch is made by Strong. That's a gain of seven. When you run that drag route across the field, it is not as easy as it looks. You're running fast. You have to catch the football right in stride, and you cannot see what's in front of you. First down at the 41. Foster's handed the football, coming out of the eye formation. Always good to have these types of runs. Hey, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Looking to go down the field here. Touchdown. Marching right down the field for an opening score. That's a big way to get the momentum in your favor with that touchdown, Phil. Yeah, nothing like it. Midway through the first quarter, you're on top of the other team, and you just feel like, hey, we got things under control, and you're putting pressure on the opposition to go out there and try to... The Texans' offense taking the field again. They got everything they could out of that last possession, Phil. A solid touchdown drive. Yeah, what a productive day so far for the offense. They're mixing it up well. They got confidence. The quarterback's throwing it well. This is a, a very good game so far. Foster's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, well, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. Second and six. Foster. Gets about four yards that time. He's averaging about four yards a carry. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Third and two. The ball is out. And it's a takeaway. The Texans just gave up some big turnover points. 
And let's see if they can hold on to the football this time, Phil, because we know how crucial it is. We talked to the coaches about it this week. This was their concern with this team. Well, if you want to stay on the field, you better quit turning it over, right, Jim? That's what they, the coaches, look, you, you make mistakes on the field, they're going to get, they're going to be forgiving to a point, but you got to be smart, you got to be efficient, and get the job done. Second and ten. And it's incomplete. Just couldn't hold on to it after the hit. Well, I think it's important for the defense. Anytime it's a third and long situation for the offense to know where those first down markers are, give a little ground, and make sure you're able to come up and make the tackle short of the first down marker. Third and ten. Down the field. And that's going to be a three and out. It's becoming evident here, partner, that this defense has done quite a job. The Texans' offense comes back onto the field. Let's see if they can move the chains this time because the last possession was ugly. They weren't out there very long. But Jim, you know how I think in situations like this, I think it's more to the coach than the players. Call a play that really catches the defense off guard so you can get an easy gain and get the momentum on your side and get it rolling. Holding offense. The defense will take them to the line in a tight game here in the second quarter. The score's 10 to 7. The Texans from the 32. Looking long. What a one handed catch. What must it be like to be able to go down there and make a play like that? How about one-handed catch? That was special. Looks like a penalty on the defense. Encroachment the defense. Still first down. The offense coming to the line inside the opponent's 20. First down at the 16. And the catch is made by Griffin. The Texans call the timeout. They're first. They step up to the nine-yard line. First down here after the completion. Mallet standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Texans, touchdown. That's his second touchdown today. That touchdown appears that it will secure them the halftime lead as the second quarter is winding down here. Well, they sure hope it does. There's nothing like going in at halftime with the lead. You just feel like all the hard work you put in the week. You... The Falcons. The Texans come out to open up the second half, and they were hitting on all cylinders in the first half, Phil. Yeah, be smart here in the second half, Jim. When you start out, just find out what the defense is thinking. And once you get a, a feeling about what they're going to do, then you start taking some chances. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. Second down and ten. Jones there to catch the ball that had a lot of heat on it. That's his first reception today. That's what you want to do. Get a first down while you're on top and keep that clock moving and just controlling the football game. Good job by the offense managing things so far here today. Mallet's completion percentage, 70% on the day. It's Strong who comes down with it. Going to take it the distance. All the way home and all alone. Touchdown. Nice catch by the rookie wide receiver. And how about that? His first receiving touchdown in the NFL. He is so talented, there is no doubt he's going to have a lot more. Add the extra point. The kick is good.
the Texans could have asked for this third quarter to have gone any better for them than it has so far as they've just continued to do what they were doing in the first half, up and down the field. Oh, man, they kept the pedal to the metal, man. They are letting it go. They're being aggressive. And Taken down at the 26. The Texans have created chances for themselves in the passing attack today. Mallet's been unstoppable so far. He has been unstoppable, hasn't he? And when your quarterback is hot, keep giving the football to him. They've done it, and he has rewarded the coaches. Well, as you saw that receiver make the catch, I'll just say this. You cannot throw the football enough his way. Uh, there's no such thing. When in doubt, you don't like anything, turn and find him and throw it to him. Mallet now completed his last seven passes. Foster's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. Second down and seven. He'll throw it over the middle. And that'll probably go as a drop. Fedorowicz is not able to come up with the catch. And a lot of times when you see a receiver drop a pass, they take their eyes off it. That's one thing. Or they're just trying to get it in their hands too quick. Why? Because they're trying to make some yards after the catch. That was the problem that time. Third down and seven. He's wide open for the grab. That's reception number four for him. Well, here's the cover four defense. Four defensive backs stopping the deep passes down the field, but nobody is there to stop the crossing routes. The Texans are still in possession as we get this final quarter underway. Here is the first snap of the final quarter. Climbs the ladder, and he has it. How about how high he went up in the air to get that one? Unbelievable job that time. And again, that's part of every offense now in the NFL. It wasn't like that when I played. We didn't have guys that could go up and make catches like that. Good job by the offense getting the first down in the red zone. Now it becomes tricky. Can you deceive the defense where you get a chance to get a score? First and goal. Houston across for the touchdown. Griffin's caught his first touchdown of the season. That touchdown may have given them all the points they need to put this game away, partner. Well, they've controlled it almost from start to finish, Jim, so that drive was impressive. Now let's see if their defense can just finish it off. If I had to guess, I like their chances. The Falcons will now be in an even deeper hole here as they get ready. The Texans now ready to take over again on offense. They were successful on their previous drive, getting the ball all the way to the end zone. I'm sure they're looking for more of the same right now. Oh, absolutely. That's, that's what you always want. You want to find your way to the end zone. And so many people contributed on that last drive. And you've got to give the coaches a lot of credit for putting the players in excellent position. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. They bring in the extra tight end. The Texans will take the snap from the 25. Nothing there as this goes for a loss of two. The Falcons defensive coordinator, my gosh, he is one happy guy. Anytime you get in the backfield and stop a runner and make him lose yards, that's some good stuff. Third down and eight. And the quarterback gives it to Arian Foster. That's a timeout by the defense. insurance for them with the field goal here midway through the fourth 
the Texans put some points on the board on the previous possession. Although it was just the field goal, Phil, they'll be looking to add some more right here. Oh, absolutely. I think they were disappointed in that last drive. You got it going. You think here comes a touchdown, and it doesn't work, and they kick a field goal. So a little disappointed. That should give them some momentum to get tougher and make this happen and get a touchdown. Foster's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. Two minutes remaining, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in this one, and time is running out here in the fourth quarter. Second down and six. And Grimes is going to take the handoff now. Grimes never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. Now third and five after the run. The Texans need to get to the 43 to pick up a first. Jumps up and hauls it in. Nice job that time by the defense. No one to... For Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now.